Crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet. And explore the secret world below. With me, Nick on the Rock. the south flank of Mount St. Helens, an amazing symmetry to a cone volcano. But 2,000 years ago, a vent opened up and a rare basaltic lava poured out. There's plenty of mystery left in geology, like why did this ropey fluid basalt come out of Mount St. Helens? Nobody has an answer for that. These ropey, pahoehoe-like structures are more reminiscent of Hawaii than the High Cascades. Regardless, this basalt is a happy accident because in the basalt is the famous Ape Cave, an evacuated lava tube that you can take your family through on foot. This is so cool. Every year, tens of thousands of visitors come right down this iron stairway into this dark subway-like lava tube. It used to be filled with basalt, the whole thing filled with orange lava. It's gone now. The upper cave, the lower cave, ape cave. After discovering the cave in 1950, Lawrence Johnson told his scoutmaster friend Harry Reese about the discovery. Reese's Boy Scout troop, known as the Apes, were the first to explore the cave. Well, I was pretty young at the time. I was a 10-year-old uh, young man, and uh, I was probably on the third team going in. The team of Boy Scouts made incredible discoveries that provided valuable information to the scientific community including fragile samples of charcoal. And we took that charcoal and sent it back to the uh, Scientific Research Center in Philadelphia. And uh, they, re they did a carbon-14 test on it for us, and it came out to be uh, 2,000 years old. As the 2,000-year-old lava advanced through the forest, the lava hardened and formed a rocky seal around each tree trunk. The well-like holes left behind are as deep as the lava flow and preserve the diameter of the trees. Hey, this is a tight fit. I'm a big boy, and even I can fit into the crawl, as it's known here. I know it looks like a cave. This is not. This is a tree mold. Three feet across, 50 feet long. This is the size of the tree that was laying in the forest. Lava comes in encrusts around the tree, the tree burns up, the mold is left. Old growth trees in the crawl. Instead of a tree mold, Ape Cave is a two mile long lava tube that formed in the interior of the basalt flow. A small late flow covers the floor of Ape Cave. So the geometry on these walls of Ape Cave are really amazing. And do we really know what this cave is all about? Like this is not limestone that's dissolving in water, right? Instead, we had 2000 degree Fahrenheit orange lava flowing down the slope of St. Helens and a cooling crust formed on the sides and the top and the bottom of that river of orange lava. And so now we're looking at the details from long ago. So what do you think? Did this tube get completely filled with lava every time there was an eruption? I don't think so, do you? Look at these cool levees or shelves that are along the sides of the cave. Pretty obvious what's going on, isn't it? There was an eruption with the lava just up to my waist. There was another eruption where the lava was halfway up the wall, laying these shelves along the sides of Ape Cave. Ape Cave, one of the longest lava tubes in North America. Just another fun place to explore the geology 
of the Pacific Northwest.